Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. So just like I said in the previous video, the next day I'm going to be spraying the gold on the Phoenix. And that's what exactly what I did. So she's still masked up. It's dried to the touch right now. Not fully cured, but dried to the touch. What I'm using is what's called a Zenith Gold, I believe it's called. Yeah, Zenith Gold. And it's product by Spraymax 1K. This stuff works really, really nice. I haven't had any problems whatsoever using the Spraymax product. Um, it beats the hell out of like Home Depot or Rust-Oleum or whatever paint that you get from Menards and Home Depot and shit. Uh, it beats the hell out of it. And um, yeah, I haven't had any problems. I've used the primer, I've used the 1K's paints, and I've used the 2K clears and it's all worked out really 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 good so the furnace is kicking in it's nice to have a nice warm garage I'm not even wearing a jacket I got an exhaust fan in the window yeah kind of my cheesy exhaust fan right there and uh, but it works and this stuff really doesn't have a lot of overspray coming from it so it it's, doesn't make a huge mess so when I pull that out of the window I shouldn't see any gold on the screen so next year, I'm going to be doing something a lot different as far as painting goes, probably starting this summer. Because I will be using that. I picked that up for my father, I think two years ago or a year ago or something like that, for a Christmas present. And uh, since he's retired, he had it at work. He was painting the machines with it. Since he's retired now, that's home. And I'm going to start using that. And it beats the hell out of using that. That compressor makes a whole hell of a lot of racket. It doesn't keep up with the air that's being used. It runs constantly. Um, plus, you have to empty out the tank as far as water goes every year. Otherwise, uh, the water collector that's on the, the line fills up pretty quick. Now, that kind of sucks because you get water in the line as you're spraying and it spits and sputters as you're spraying it out that's why it's there and another thing that sucks about this compressor too is that like i said it doesn't keep up with the air that's being used it makes a whole hell of a lot of noise our old compressor that we have uh or had we ended up getting rid of it when the scrap guy came around and he picked it up uh finally took a shit after i don't know how many fucking years uh, we've had that thing. I was a kid living at the old house back in 80, before 81. Um, and my father was using that tank for spraying different motors on it, but it would keep up with whatever is being used. This one here, the newer shit, it's garbage. So I won't have to deal with that racket of, of that thing, the water problem that these create. And, uh, yeah that's what it'll be so right now this is pretty much dry to the touch I can touch it and it's not going to leave any fingerprints it's not tacky it's not sticky I want to put a couple more coats on this let it cure up and then start peeling off the mask and uh, see how these stripes came out hopefully they came out really good and there is no issues or problems with uh, bleed through underneath the tape especially around the corners and the edges all right, you guys take it easy. I will be back again with some updates. Catch you later.